A new dental survey out shows that New Zealand adults are far more likely than their Australian counterparts to suffer from tooth decay and gum disease. The dentist behind the survey's findings is Dr Alex McIntosh. He joins me now. Good, uh, good morning, Dr McIntosh. Good morning. Uh, worse than Australia, why? Well, um, basically, New Zealanders, I think, have a lot less disposable income than the Australians. And also the Australian government provides a means test where they can assist you know, New Zealand, Australian citizens with their dental care. That's interesting because I guarantee there's people watching right now who are probably screaming at the television and saying it's too expensive to go to the dentist. I mean, what do you say to that? Well, the fact of the matter is that it's actually, if you attend on a regular basis, all the survey actually proves and shows that it's actually less expensive if you attend on a regular basis. It's when you leave things too long and you need end up needing a lot of crisis care dentistry, that's when it becomes very expensive. Why, though, are people leaving it long? I mean, is it, they're, they're scared of the cost, is the perception of the cost, are they also, I mean, what, what, why is it that they're not going on a regular basis? Well, it's generally accepted there are two main barriers to care, regular care, and that is fear and cost. And um, cost is something that's really a perception because the reality is you tend to spend more on their hair care than they do on dentistry. Uh, the fear factor is um, with modern dentistry and modern dentistry, dental techniques, we can offer medication now, which helps patients overcome their fear. How often should people go and see the dentist? What's the normal? Well, most people attend on a yearly basis. If you have high, uh, high needs and high demand, then six monthly is probably advised. What this survey seemed to show that New Zealanders perhaps were, weren't so aware of gum disease as they are of tooth decay. Tell us about that. Well, the problem with gum disease is um, people aren't aware of it until it's really well advanced. So it's really important you attend on a regular basis and to get that diagnosed because then it, it is entirely preventable and it is treatable. Are there anything, any, anything you can tell I mean, that you've got gum disease? I mean, can you tell yourself by looking in, the, in your mouth? Well, the main indicator of gum disease is bleeding gums. When you brush your teeth, you have bleeding in your mouth, and that's the first indicator. Well, overall, what is this study telling you about New Zealanders' um, grasp of dental care? Are, are we up there in the world? Are we all right, or have we got some big weaknesses? Well, I think uh, the study showed that about a third of New Zealanders have untreated dental decay, uh, over a third of untreated gum disease, and a quarter of the population has ex experienced dental pain in the last... Uh, month so um, there's a high unmet need out there at the moment. What about fluoride in the, in the water, does that help? Oh that's proven uh, over many years. New Zealand was one of the leading countries in the world to adopt fluoridation and that's been a huge help but it's also made people become a little bit complacent about their dental care. Okay it seems to be it's coming back to this issue of cost and you know in going to the dentist. You talked about Australia having a means testing system, is that something New Zealand needs to work towards giving some assistance particularly I would imagine to, to lower income families? Absolutely. I think uh, the government plays, has got a role to play here where they could provide a similar scheme that the Australians do. But also people need to take personal um, responsibility to attend on a regular basis. And it's not a case, I mean, there will be some people who say, oh, the dentist just charged too much money. Well, that's not true because um, if you look at the overall uh, cost of dental care over a year, people spend more on their hair than they do on the actual dental care. Right, So, the, but, the, but the cost of, say, of getting a crown done or something or a root canal, it's not more expensive than it is somewhere else? Absolutely not, no. And also, uh, if you attend a modern uh, surgery, we have um, a lot of good financial arrangements now to make it affordable for people. Dr Alex uh, McIntosh, thank you very much. Pleasure. Much appreciated. Um, Dr Alex, can I ask you one question? I've heard that if you floss, you can save years on your life, like you actually live for longer if you, get, if you floss regularly. That's correct, yeah. Uh, some oral disease has been linked to heart, heart problems and, yep. um, so, um, and also other, other systemic diseases. So um, if you have a good oral health, then that affects your general health. So clean teeth can equal living longer and living better. Absolutely. There you go, that's a message we like to hear, isn't it? Mm, excellent. Gosh, I find flossing hard, though. Really? I just have to make myself do it. Yeah, I'm a bit slack, actually, on the flossing. Well, back up your ideas if you want to be around for your grandchildren.